7 Things You Should Do Before a Huge Ass Meal If You're Trying to Lose Weight If plans for a big AF dinner inspire you to hit the pavement that morning, you're not alone. Data from Fitbit suggests that Fitbit users run longer on Thanksgiving Day than on an regular day and they wake up an average of 2 hours earlier to do it. So, yeah, that pre-birthday brunch cycling class is kind of the same deal. And while exercising is always a good idea, especially if you're trying to lose weight, you don't have to go bananas trying to stave off weight gain from your fancy brunch or holiday dinner, says Rebecca Lewis, registered dietitian for HelloFresh. In order to gain weight from one day of overeating, you'd have to eat roughly 3,500 calories over and above the normal amount of calories you consume in a day, says Lewis. I see why am I. 3,500 calories equals 1 pound of fat. That's a redonkulous amount of food, and would be difficult to pull off, she says. Most weight gain comes from eating extra calories over an extended period of time, explains Lewis. So long as you go back to your regularly scheduled programming after the big meal MD don't let one day of overindulging snowball into days or weeks of doing so aving an occasional celebratory meal isn't going to bother your scale. However, if you're trying to lose weight, these strategies can help you enjoy your big feast sense guilt so you can stay on track with your goals. 1. Don't starve yourself leading up to the meal. When you starve yourselves of nutrients, it slows down your metabolism, says Felicia Stoller, a New Jersey-based registered dietitian nutritionist. So when the excess calories come in from a big meal, the body will store extra calories as fat, says Stoller. Intellectually, you know you'll be eating again soon out your body reacts based on nutrient and hormone levels, she explains. To avoid your bod going into storage mode, eat as you normally would leading up to a big meal. Even something small like a handful of nuts or bowl of Greek yogurt is enough to get your metabolism going. 2. Drink a glass of water. Our stomachs can hold about a liter of food and liquid, says Ilana Mulstein, RD a nutritionist for Explore Cuisine. By drinking one or two glasses of water pre-meal, you'll leave enough room to enjoy a big feast while reducing how much you'll consume. 3. Brush your teeth. Sipping peppermint tea, taking a whiff of peppermint essential oil, or even brushing your teeth may be enough to keep your appetite in check. Ohm studies have shown that the strong scent of peppermint makes it a natural appetite suppressant, says Liz Wynandy, RDN outpatient dietitian at the Ohio State Wexner Medical Center. However, steer clear of chewing minty gum, since chomping can stimulate hunger by causing the release of salivary amylase the digestive enzyme in our mouth that starts the breakdown of carbs, says Lewis. 4. Plan ahead. Having a plan means you're in control, says Lewis. Often, overeating happens because the temptation overwhelms our good intentions to eat well. Acknowledge that big meals are a challenge and then decide what steps you can take to stay in control. For example, pick one splurge to invest your extra calories in such as appetizers, alcoholic bevies, or dessert and stick with it, says New York-based registered dietitian Emily Braden, or only indulge in foods that you don't see at any other time of year, such as birthday cake, eggnog, or gingerbread cookies. By making a point not to deprive yourself, you can enjoy the celebratory atmosphere without guilt, keeping yourself on the wagon during the big meal and beyond, says Braden. 5. Munch on an apple. Eating a medium-sized apple about 15 minutes before a big meal can reduce the number of calories consumed at that meal by an average of 15%, thanks to its high-fiber content, says Libby Mills, RD, Program Manager at the McDonald Center for Obesity Prevention and Education in Pennsylvania. That's an average of 186 calories less, or about 60 more calories than contained in the apple itself, she adds. 6. Hit the gym. Squeezing in a sweat sesh the day of a big meal, like those turkey trotters, can dull your appetite by suppressing hunger hormones. The more vigorous the workout, the more hunger is suppressed than if the workout itself is shorter in duration, says Braden. One study found that exercising before a meal reduced calorie intake by a third. 7. Sleep tight. Scoring enough shut eye the night before a big meal could mean the difference between loading your plate with veggies or pastries. 
Lack of sleep can toy with hormones that control your appetite namely, ghrelin and leptin and increase cravings for unhealthy foods, says New York-based registered dietitian Chelsea Okin. Keep your inner cookie monster in check during the festivities by getting the recommended 7 hours of sleep on the regular.